Well, Ben, hi, welcome to Yamaha HQ here in Milton Keynes. Welcome to the live room. Thank you, Paul. Well, thanks for having me. What a lovely space. It really is, isn't it? Many a famous artist has graced the live room, sure. and uh, we're pleased to be here showing you the Clavinova CSP range of digital pianos. Yes. But before we get there, um, you work for a company called Allegro Music, yes. um, and they're in three different places. Three locations, yes. Mm. So Chelmsford, yeah. I'm in Essex, right. Great Baddow, and Westliff. So. Great Baddow. Great Baddow. Wow, that's a place I've not really heard of yeah, before. It's a cute little town. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Well, you've got some great stores and you've got, Certainly. Some, you've got some great staff. We do, yes. I say, obviously, we've been around for a long time, older, long, longer than me, so about 45 <laughs> years. So, um, obviously, we've, over the time, become piano specialists or digital piano spe uh, specialists. So. Yes. Yes. So, you, but you, you're also a general music store? That's right, yes. We um, sell a range of instruments, mostly acoustic pianos and, yes. and obviously, digital pianos. Well. So, over the years, of course, as we said, Allegro Music's been around for a long time, yes, yeah. um, and as as times have changed, of course, instruments have changed. Of course, yes. Um, and from acoustic specialist, as which you still are, sure. of course, digital instruments has been introduced into the, the, the store yes. and the business. Um, how do you find the, the difference now between kind of digital and acoustic? Because the lines have kind of... They have. Blurred, They've been coming they? increasingly blurred. Um, you know, we find, obviously, a digital piano is far more practical these days. Yes. Obviously, you know, it's, uh, there's room for both. But in, in terms of sort of new plays and, and um, finding different functions, well, a digital piano is certainly the way to go. Well, we have this beautiful range of Clavinova. We know, well, of course, we know Clavinova um, has got three ranges. We've got CLP, we've got CVP, and of course we have CSP. Very smart piano. Yes, it definitely is. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's let's go through it. Let's Please show do. you what's uh, what's different about CSP because I think you're gonna you're gonna have a real great surprise. Let Thank me show you. Lovely. Thanks, Paul. So, Ben, here we are at the Yamaha CSP 295. Um, to be fair, we're surrounded by CSP. Uh, we have the 255, we have the CSP 275, the 295, and, of course, over there on the stage, we have the CSP 295 GP. Beautiful piano. So we've got a piano for everyone. But we're going to talk about the, uh, the 295 here today. Um, first of all, I think it, it looks beautiful. You've got a beautiful slow close lid, and it's designed to well, look like a traditional yeah, it certainly does. piano. Yeah. To look at it, you wouldn't know, would you? With it? No, yeah. no, you've got a, a, an adjustable music desk that pops in there, so it looks like a traditional mm -hmm. acoustic piano. There's a few other little features that's going on behind the music desk, but we'll talk about sure. those in a little while. Open the lid, and we have the most incredible piano. It looks like an upright, but it sounds and behaves like a concert grand. Listen to this. Beautiful. That just lingers. I've got the dampener pedal on. It's absolutely stunning. Not just stunning to listen to and play, but the, the feel of the keyboard is, is an important part of the piano. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Would, would you like to have I'll a try? try. Yes, have please. A try. Thanks, Paul. Doesn't it feel amazing? It's incredible, yes. It's just a joy to play. Yeah. It's, and I think that's because you know, the, the action has been really so well designed. It's actually called Grand Touch. Right, okay. Um, and it's designed in such a way that it, it feels just like a concert grand. It's even got synthetic ivory and ebony key tops. If you look inside the key, you've actually got wooden keys yes, yeah. as well. Going a little further, you've actually got what we call lin a linear graded action. And that means that on an acoustic instrument, at the bottom where the heavy strings are, the big strings, you've got big hammers. And as you progress across the keyboard, those hammers get smaller. Yeah. 
So on this instrument, it actually you feels... You can feel it as you yeah, go on. Every yeah. key is weighted slightly differently, mm -hmm. which I think is you know, incredible considering it's a digital sure. instrument. Yeah. It just brings it closer to a, yeah. a real grand piano. Absolutely. Mm. You know what? I think there's, there's four things that's really important when you look at buying a, an acoustic or a, a digital instrument. Um, of course, we know the benefits of digital. Sure. There's no strings. Yeah. Although we can feel vibrations through the cabinet, there's no strings, there's no, no, there's no frame, there's no hammers hitting strings, no. but it's, it sounds and feels like a so concert. It has that big resonant sound, yes. So the first thing is, I think, what does it feel like? Well, we've ticked that box because it feels amazing. Yes. What does it sound like? Well, it sounds amazing as well. What does it look like? You know, it's important. That yes, third thing is important because it's going to live in your yeah, front room a, or your... big instrument, so yeah. it's going to look good. It's going to look yeah. right in your house, you know, wherever you're going to put it. Sure. Uh, and we've got different finishes and different cabinets, you know, for everyone. We've got white, we've got polished ebony, we've got black, and so on and so forth. But I'm sure that, you know, if the viewers want to contact you at the store, of course, you yeah. can talk them through and show them the different models. Um, but the other thing, the fourth thing, is the features on board the instrument. Now... If you just want the instrument as a piano, which a lot of people do, it's a piano. It's just a piano. You switch sure. it on and you play it. Fantastic. But you know what else? We have the facility to add a tablet. Now, in this case, this is an iPad. Um, you can use selected Android devices as well. Sure. Um, but this opens up a whole new world of possibility. Do you want me to show you please how it works? Yes, okay. please. Let's show you. So, here we have our tablet, and it's connected to the instrument via Bluetooth. Sure. Because we have MIDI Bluetooth already built, okay. built into the instrument. Connect to the instrument, very simply. Sure. You go through the connection wizard, it's so easy. But we can also connect via a USB-C cable. You remember I said there was something hiding behind? Yes. Well, the USB-C cable hides behind here, and we can connect it to the tablet. And that will also charge the tablet as well. Best of both worlds. So, you know, you know what, I'm, my iPad's forever running out of battery. Connect it and it'll charge. Um, but now we're connected to the instrument. We can control the instrument via the iPad. So please don't think that this is the magic bit. The instrument has the technology See, and yeah. we're using the iPad as the interface into the instrument. Right. So now, there's my CFX. I can change that literally by swiping the screen. I can see a Borsendorfer, a Studio Grand, Concert Upright. Have a listen to that. Very Completely different sound. Different sound. Yes. Yeah. Go back to the Studio Grand, maybe. Back to the Upright. It's amazing. Mm. You've even got a bit of... And all of that sort of stuff, the honky-tonk stuff. If you need If you want to do that, get to the pub on a Friday night and have a few whiskeys. You can play the honky-tonk stuff. But you know what? Seriously, we've got some beautiful sounds on board. We've even got the Borsendorfer, which is beautiful, which is this. It's stunning in, in every sense. It's going to be my favourite one there, I think. It, it's beautiful. It, well, it's horses for courses, isn't it? If you want to play, you know, some jazz, maybe some um, classical, sure. Borsendorfer. If you want to play a bit of Elton John or Billy Joel or whatever, then you can use the Studio Grand. Sure. Um, maybe the Beatles, you can use the Upright. You know, horses for courses, mm. different types and styles of music on different pianos. Um, but we go much further than that, Ben. Playing the piano is great. I'm just going to go back to CFX. 
just CFX, <laughs> 150,000 pounds yeah. worth of grand piano built into CSP. Um, great if you can play. What happens if you can't? Pretty useless, yeah? So we've developed an instrument that can actually help you with that. It can teach you how to play. Um, how many times do you hear in the store uh, or out wherever you go, oh, I wish I could play the piano? Every day. Yeah. Every day, customers are, are sure. people are thinking, oh, I wish I could play. Yeah. We fixed it. You know, people would buy a piano if they could play. And the problem, of course, with that is they haven't got time. Lifestyle. Of course. It's life is over. very busy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you've got kids, you've got jobs, you've got, you know, whatever you're doing throughout your life, it kind of gets in the way because you normally have to go to a piano lesson. Sure. But now with CSP, we have a feature that will actually help you. Just watch this. Okay. So if I go to song, I'm going to select lesson and I'm going to select Bayer 1. Now, Bayer is the tuition book. That's the first thing the teacher would give you is the tuition book. There's all the books. There's lots of them in there. I'm going to select Bayer 1. It says three hands. And of course, that means that when you go to the piano teacher's lesson, if it was a physical, actual lesson, the teacher would sit you here. You, they would play with two hands or something of the like. Sure. You, the student, would sit here and you would play with one hand mm -hmm. because it's much easier to learn with one hand and you would play you know, the melody line with your sure. right. So that's where the three, I don't have to grow a third arm. You've, you've <laughs> got two hands from the teacher, one hand from the student. So there is my first lesson on the screen. When I press the guide button, the box is gonna to move towards the, the, the very first note, but of course I don't know where the note is. So when I press start, it's gonna ask me to play it, but I don't know where it is, but if I look down to the key, there's a light flashing above the, the note that I, I need to play. So when I play it, listen to what happens. The teacher starts to play the accompaniment part. Very clever. The note's moved on to the next note. This is called Streamlights, very clever, because it's not only telling me which note to play, but it's telling me when to play it. So if I play the Teacher's saying, no, 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 no. That note is that note. So it will not carry on until you play the correct note. Until I play the note. Which is just what a teacher would yeah, do with a lesson. Yeah. Perfect. What a great way to learn to play. But of course, what about this hand? That's the first lesson. Come out of there. I've got lesson one, lesson two, lesson five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, so on and so forth. And that's just the first book. So if I went to lesson, I don't know, lesson 88, it loads up lesson 88. Now, of course, the more you practice, the better you get. So this is, I don't know, six months time, a year's time, two years time. It just depends on how much you practice. Sure. Let's press done. Oh my word. There's a lot of knots there. <laughs> and I've got two hands. So, of course, the first thing a teacher would do is the teacher would play the tune and let you hear what it should sound like. So, just press play. Okay, there's the tune. Now, of course, I can't play two hands together. So, I, I want to learn the first hand, which is the right hand. Sure. I want to learn the melody. So, the teacher needs to do the left. So, I simply press right, guide, and now, when I press start, the right hand has been removed, so the teacher's been removed. The teacher's now just playing the left hand, and I have to play the right. So I press start, telling me the notes. The blue light indicates that it's a black key. The teacher's going too fast. Let's slow it down. telling me, no, 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 that's the right note. Practice, practice, practice. Let's swap. So now the teacher plays the right and I play the left. Is it? Yeah. And when you've practiced that, put it together. Hey, presto. There we go. So you, a lot of what you really need a teacher for, you can do through the piano yourself. Absolutely. Fantastic. We also have another app 
actually, while we're talking about teaching, um, and it's called Floki. We endorse it. It's not a Yamaha sure. app, but we endorse mm. it because it's very, very good. And actually, if you buy a uh, Yamaha CSP instrument at the minute, you'll get access to the, to the premium Floki site for three months. Oh, fantastic. Um, that's at the time of recording. Yes. So you'll get access to that, and that's brilliant. Oh, fantastic. That will yeah. then take you into basically Piano Academy. Yeah, It'll sure. It really goes into the nitty-gritty of how to play, mm. so you can check that out. Um, but let's get back to Smart Pianist, which is the app that we're using um, in association with CSP. Let's come out of that. So we know that we can learn to play with that. But we know there's other areas, don't mm. we? Um, you can download your favourite songs. Download your favourite songs from the internet. Again, if people don't know how to do that, contact you at the store. Yeah. You take them through because you've got all the, all the guys and girls there. They're all specialists on this. They know how it I'm works. Happy to help. Yeah. Simply download a track onto your iPad and you can do what we've just done. So if you wanted to play a bit of you know pop music or whatever your favourite music is, mm -hmm. you can do it. But you guys will show, show our, our, our viewers how to do that. Um, I'm going to come out of this section now because I want to show you something else. Let's imagine that, you know what, I've learned to play and I've got, um, I'm just going to put CFX in there. Um, incidentally, I can, I can put CFX into different environments, which I was just doing there. So I can put CFX into a concert hall or I could put CFX into a cathedral. So the effect is different. Of course, you know, pianos sound different in different yes, rooms. Of course, yeah. you, can, you can do that with the instrument. Um, you can also go into the menu system and you can change the tonality of the instrument. So if you really want to get into the nitty gritty mm. of how the piano sounds, you can do all of that. Infinite variety of sounds. The possibilities are, are, yeah. are literally endless. Um, Let's say I've got a bit of playing under my belt. I can I can mm. play some chords, and I I don't just want to play the instrument at home by myself. I'd love the band to come home sure. as well. Okay. Who doesn't? Let's have a look at this, where we call it style. Think of backing band, and we've got hundreds of them on board the instrument. So now let's say I'm noodling around. I've got some chords in my head and I'm thinking I've got it I want or whatever tune you want to play great piano mm -hmm. where's the band here they are I've even got variations of the band a b c d you could say verse chorus second verse second. very clever watch this I'll just press start and all you've got to do is play just play the piano as if you're, you're playing normally just and the band will follow so to start with I've got drums Yeah. Let's play a chord. If I change chord, so just play. makes it more interesting doesn't it more fun to play it's so much fun and you know what we haven't got time really in this video to really go into yeah. that you can go into the band you can change sounds in the mixer i can bring the drums up and down and the guitars and so on and so forth so you actually got a, a whole mixer sure. in there as well it really is quite infinite but we've heard lots of other sounds there mm. we've actually got them on board as well right. so if i go back to the menu and, and go to a button that's called voice those, in other words, uh, in Yamaha language, that means sound. Mm -hmm. So the voice or sound is, in this case, CFX Grand. But I don't want a CFX Grand. Now, we've heard the other pianos. If I just touch the piano screen, I can now have lots and lots of other voices. What about if I wanted to maybe move to the 1980s, my era, um, and let's have a bit of DX. It says DX Suite. 
That's a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer. Mm, okay. Very famous in the 80s. You'll get the sound as soon as I play it. Typical 80s mm, type so. And there's lots and lots and lots and lots of them there. I don't want that. I want a guitar. Mm. Even here, the nuances the in noises. The, yeah. yep. We call that super articulation. Very realistic, yeah. Amazing. Mm. Uh, what about, I don't know, Strings, string orchestra, yeah? You can hear the yes, bolts exactly, body. Yeah. Amazing. Incredible. We've got brass and woodwind with clarinets and trumpets and so on and so forth. We've even got some beautiful synth voices. Uh, and in the synth voices, um, We've got all sorts of stuff. We've got um, pad sounds. And if you can't find the sound that you want, we've got a little magnifying glass in there. Just tap in the name of the song, or the sound, sorry, and it will tell you where it is. So this is called Super Dark Pad. Which is a typical kind of pad sound. Sure. But the reason I'm showing you this is because if I go back to piano, let's select maybe the stage piano. And I press layer, I can now layer it's sounds good, yeah. together. So if I press, we've got piano and strings at the minute, but if I change that to synth, and I go back to the synth pad, and I find my sound, which was the super dark pad, there it is, done. I've now got the piano mixed or layered together with the super dark pad. The pad sounds not quite loud enough, so if I go to the balance button, I get this beautiful kind of ethereal Very effective, sound. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful sound. absolutely stunning. Very easy to achieve. Very, very easy. The user interface is yeah. so simple. You know, anybody can use it. Um, we can even split the keyboard so I can have a sound to the left. Mm. I can even control it like a keyboard if I wanted to, so I could play chords in my left sure. hand, melody line in my right hand, and the style would follow what my left hand does. Course, yeah. Same as a keyboard yes, works. Yeah, or you can play it as a piano, as we did there, and uh, stunning. Mm. Apart from everything else that it does, Ben, I want to show you another thing which is really important in the world of tuition and learning sure. and so on and so forth. Because you can, I mean, you can imagine you've got, you know, the, you've got the kids that have maybe started to learn to play the piano yep. and they're going to piano lessons. Brilliant. That's fantastic. I know you guys do lessons we certainly do, in yes. the store that's and that's fantastic. Um, but you've also got, you know, the, 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 the parents of the kids and... Maybe the kids have gone to bed and parents are sat looking at this beautiful piano of, of an evening, you know, with a cup of tea, a cup of coffee or a glass of wine maybe, mm -hmm. and they're looking at this piano in the corner and they're thinking, I would love to play that. Well, now they can because the instrument will teach them how to play. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they've got a little bit of, of, of playing ability, one great thing to do is to actually record yourself playing because that will allow you then to listen back to what you've been doing. Yeah, and actually, yeah. you, you get a, a really good result because you think, actually, I'm <laughs> yeah, doing really it. well. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to press the little red, the dreaded little red <laughs> button. Uh, I'm going to press the little red button that says record. I'm going to press new song, and I'm going to press start. Now, I'll just play something very simple, um, but it's recording. I can see that it's recording. So let's just play something, like a scale or an arpeggio or something. That's it. Now, that could be your full masterpiece, sure. whatever you want to do. I'm going to save that. Now, I can see Ben's 
mind whirring thing. Well, we've been able to do that forever. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. recording is easy these days. But what you now can do is if I go to the song section, not only is it going to play back the, the, the melody that I've just played, but it's also going to score it out on the it's screen. Incredible. And it's showing me Red. on Streamlight. It. Such a fantastic sort of device to learn on, obviously. That, yeah, to relate that to the score is... It is unbelievable, incredible. isn't it? Yeah. And technology that, you know, it, it's in an it's instant. Right there. Yeah. Um, I can now, you know, do a screen print of that from my iPad and I could send that out to, you know, maybe I had a little band going on. Mm. Um, or maybe the, the, your teacher, who's maybe come into the house to give you uh, music lessons, they could play in a melody and it would score it. And like we did before, you could take out the right hand and you sure. could practice the left and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. So, Ben, I think, you know, this quick whirlwind tour sure. of, of CSP um, is just showing you kind of the tip of the iceberg, yes. really. Um, it's perfect for beginners. Mm -hmm. You know, people starting out on their musical adventure, if you like, um, but it's also perfect for those more advanced players yeah. who really want to sit down, they know what they're doing, and with iPad uh, or a selected Android device using the Smart Pianist app, that can really take them on a, a, an incredible musical There's journey. So many options, and just a beautiful sounding piano, it really is. There really is. Mm. So I would suggest, you know, that anyone wanting to see the, new, the CSP range Get on to Allegro that's Music it. to see you. That's it. What store do you work in? Chelmsford. In Chelmsford. That's okay. it. Yeah. So everybody get down to Chelmsford. Come down. Yes, I'll be happy to put it through its paces. Yeah. Um, and have a, but have a play of it. Sure. Have a feel of mm. actually how it, how it works. Mm. And of course, the rest of the range. Sure. So you know what, Ben? It's been an absolute pleasure my having pleasure. you here to the live room. Thank, Thank, Thank you, Paul. very much for coming. Thank you. And um, now that we'll switch the cameras off, you can have a Please, try and, and go around the range. Thank you, Great Paul. Great to see you. All right.